The University of Dayton is known for its welcoming community. This supportive environment does not happen by accident. The university encourages its members to collaborate in building a community that enriches our faith and strengthens our ability to meet the challenges of the world. As a Catholic Marianist University, we work to educate the whole person and to connect learning to leadership and service. We believe people who develop compassionate hearts and critical minds can transform the world. The deeply rooted values of community, inclusivity, and educating for adaptation and change can be traced back to the founders of the Marianist Order. It was in the turmoil following the French Revolution that Father William Joseph Chaminade, Marie Therese de Lamarousse, and Adèle de Bots de Tranquillon brought together communities of lay people to reinvigorate the faithful and make a positive impact on the world. Chaminade was born in Perigueux, France in 1761. With his mother's guidance, he developed a strong faith and a devotion to the Virgin Mary. At his confirmation, William added the name Joseph in tribute to the man who was closest to Mary. He was ordained a priest in 1785, and he taught at a boarding school in Muzadan. Chaminade might have been content to live out his life serving the students and residents of the small town, but the French Revolution forced him to make some difficult decisions. The new French Republic ordered all priests to take an oath of allegiance to the civil constitution of the clergy. Father Chaminade and the other priest at St. Charles refused, and the school became the center of resistance in Muzadan. Despite their efforts, the government seized control of the school in 1791. Father Chaminade moved to Bordeaux, France, where most of the churches had been taken over by the government. Soon after he arrived, all priests who had not taken the oath were expelled from the country. Father Chaminade went into hiding. Risking his own life, he often disguised himself as a peddler so he could travel through the city, ministering to the faithful. With a few remaining priests in hiding, a laywoman named Marie Therese de Lamarousse played an important role in helping the underground church. Father Chaminade became her friend and spiritual advisor. Fearing execution in 1797, Father Chaminade was forced into exile. He spent three years in Saragossa, Spain, where he frequently visited the shrine of Our Lady of the Pillar. There he prayed to Mary and reflected on what he would do when he returned to France. It is clear that his time in Saragossa had a profound influence on his life and his work. He recognized that new times call for new methods. Upon his return, he would work to re-Christianize France by organizing groups of lay people and helping them follow Mary's example to be a disciple of Jesus and to bring Christ to the world. When he returned to Bordeaux, Father Chaminade immediately began organizing lay communities called Marian Sodalities. As the Sodalities grew, a new spirit of faith and Christian culture began to spread throughout Bordeaux. Marie Therese assisted Father Chaminade and became the director of the Women's Sodality. In 1801, she began ministering to women trying to break free from prostitution. Her ministry was called the House of Mercy and the religious order that grew out of it is still at work today. Marie Therese continued to help Father Chaminade and the Marianist sodalities until her death in 1836. In 1804, Father Chaminade began renting the Chapel of the Madeleine. It would be the center of his ministry for the rest of his life. Chaminade initially lived in an apartment across the street. He would later buy the house next to the chapel. The Marianists continued to carry out Father Chaminade's mission through their work at the Madeleine today. His room on the second floor has been preserved as a memorial of his life and work. In 1808, Father Chaminade learned of a prayer association, much like his sodalities, which had been formed by Adèle de Bots de Tranquillon near Agen, France. Adèle and Chaminade began corresponding through letters. Adèle wanted to dedicate her life to God and sought Chaminade's guidance. With the help of Father Chaminade and Marie Therese, Adèle and several other women came together in Agen on May 25, 1816, to form the Daughters of Mary Immaculate. The following year, a young Sodality member came to Father Chaminade with a desire to dedicate his life to building the faith. 
Father Shamanad had seen the need for a religious society that could continue his work into the future. Now he knew the time was right. He found others who were ready to make the same commitment. And on October 2nd, 1817, following a retreat of reflection and discernment, the men made their firm decision to establish the Society of Mary. Some of the founding Marianists were educators. They saw schools as a way to both educate and form students in faith. They opened the first Marianist school in 1819. Like Father Shamanad's lay sodalities, the school sought to spread the spirit of faith to people from all classes and backgrounds. Adèle de Bots de Tranquillion died on January 10, 1828. She is buried in the convent where the Daughters of Mary Immaculate continue their ministry today. In 1839, Pope Gregory XVI signed the Decree of Praise, giving the Society of Mary and the Daughters of Mary Immaculate pontifical status. In the Marianist Constitutions, Chaminade wrote, God has designed to inspire an association composed of all talents and all states, priests and laymen, whose principal object is to form the children and young of every class. The family of Mary spread throughout France and beyond. In the United States, there was a growing need for religious to serve in parishes and schools. Members of the Society of Mary first arrived in 1849. In 1850, they started St. Mary's School for Boys, the school that would become the University of Dayton. Father Chaminade spent the last years of his life writing circulars about Marianist religious life, visiting communities and working with novices. He died on January 22, 1850, at the age of 88. The values and beliefs that took root in the first Marianist sodalities continue to influence our work today. Our University of Dayton community inspires and challenges us to provide students with a transformative experience. Father Chaminade once said, by educating the mind and the heart, the school can form people who in turn can work at changing the very structures of their society to ensure a community of justice and reconciliation. Guided by our Marianist charism, we prepare our graduates to make a difference in the world. <laughs>